Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning once again to another day, another hour to praise and worship our King. Hallelujah. For He is worthy. He is the only one worthy of worship and praise. The only one that we should give worship to in our life. Hallelujah. Did you know that everything is in God's hands? Everything. This devotional today, My Times Are In Your Hand. And this author is unknown on this devotional today. My Times Are In Your Hand. Psalm 3115 My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. And in that verse, my times are my ways are in thy hand. Deliver or defend, preserve me from the hand of my enemies, my hating adversaries, and from them that persecute me. I want to read in Psalms chapter 31, start with verse 13. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life, but I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. Hallelujah. Wonderful scriptures. I want to go back to verse 15 again. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. I want to read Gill's commentary on this verse. It's really good. My times are in thy hand, and not in the hand of my enemies, as my time of life and death, which was only by the direction and appointment of God, was in his power and fixed by him. Nor could his enemies take away his life before his time and without the will of his covenant God so our lives are in the hand of the Almighty God and nobody can take away our life before the appointed time of our covenant God and all of our times of trouble in it times of prosperity adversity darkness desertion temptation joy peace comfort 
These are all in the hands of the Lord, at His disposal, at His disposal, and ordered by Him for the good of His servant and for the glory of His own name. And so this is a quieting consideration to the psalmist under his present trials in this Psalm 31. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. A good man has many enemies, and even his very goodness creates him such. So just the fact that he is good, doing good things, creates enemies for him or her. For wicked men or women are enemies to all that is good. And those are persecuting ones in one way or another, either by words or deeds. And deliverance out of their hands is by the Lord, who gives his people rest from adversity. And sometimes he does gives us rest from adversity. I'm going to read the scripture one more time. Psalm 31 15. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Is not this truth a joy to you, my soul? It would be a sorry thing for me if my times were in my own hands, and it would afford me little satisfaction if my times were in an angel's hands. How restful should I be in knowing that they are in my Savior's nail-pierced hands. He sees the end from the beginning. He knows how to apportion my sorrows and my joys. He knows what to give and what to withhold. He knows also when to give and when to take away. But alas, how often is my heart mistrustful? How often have I murmured under the trying dispensations of His providence? O oh, my soul, be ashamed and confounded, confounded, be humbled in the dust, that you should ever call in question the wisdom or the kindness of the dealings of him who so loved you as to give his life for your redemption. I want to read those two verses again. But alas, how often is my heart mistrustful? How often have I murmured under the trying dispensations of His providence? And how often have we murmured, complained, been mistrustful, unbelieving? And then it says, Oh my soul, be ashamed. Be ashamed of this and confounded. Be humbled in the dust that you should ever call in question the wisdom or the kindness of the dealings of Him who so loved you as to give His life for your redemption. Wow, that's a powerful statement right there. But we should be ashamed when we act like that. Shouldn't we? We should be ashamed when we call in question the kindness and the dealings of our Lord. Because He so loved us and paid such a price for us. So we should be ashamed when we call in question how He deals with us. Help me, O God of my salvation. Henceforth, with childlike confidence and peaceful trust, to yield all to you. 
and to rejoice in the assurance that my times are in your hand. My times are in your hand. Why should I doubt or fear? My father's hand will never cause his child a needless tear. So there are tears that are needed, aren't they? And mainly those are tears of repentance. Because he allows things in our life to get the junk out as well. To strengthen us, to try us, to teach us. So everything's in his hands and he's sovereign. He has a purpose for all that he does. Hallelujah. Let's keep this in mind today as we go about our day and not murmur and not complain but be thankful not doubt or fear but be bold as the Lion of Judah and confident in our God that he has our times in his hand hallelujah Lord I thank you for this little message I pray that you will let the seed be planted deep and grow up and bear fruit, Lord. I pray you will not let the enemy steal the seed of this message. And people that hear it will not forget it. It will be brought to their memory over and over and over again throughout the day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.